This is Couples Court with the Cutlers. This is the case of Morris versus Roe. You all met at work and are living together, is that correct? Yes, Your yes. Honor. Tell me how you all met. We are both bartenders and we were working together and I didn't pay him any attention because he came in after me. He's new. I kind of thought he was kind of funny looking. Um, <laughs> he's not allowed to have any facial hair at that job. And you clearly see, like, he's a bearded man. Daddy. And anyway, and so with the beard, he posted a picture of that on social media. And I was like, okay, all right, you look a little, <laughs> you look a little, you look a little different with the beard. So I, I slid in his DMs and I was like, I was, I sent a little emoji with the tongue out. Cause she nasty. And I was like, I like, and he was like, um, well, if you like, then text this number and save it as boo zaddy. <laughs> That's what I said? Boo zaddy. And I did, and he's been daddy ever since. See? <laughs> anyway. We got a live one. Yeah. Anyway. So she pushes up on you, she slides into your DM. I mean, so what do you do? When she replied back to me and everything, I just told her, you know, we should, we should hang out. You know, I told her I was feeling her. Uh, a couple of times when we hung out, we, I felt we had a, a minor connection. Oh, hey, minor. Minor connection. <laughs> no, he didn't. Were you feeling her before she saw you with the beat? Yeah, absolutely. Not. So when you so, first saw her... Absolutely. <laughs> when you first saw her, what were you thinking? Nothing. She fine. Nothing. Nothing at all. <laughs> Actually, when we worked together, I tried to help her with something. And uh, she just had this whole little, I want to do it by myself. So her independent woman thing, it got it, to you. It was getting in, no, it was just getting in the way. And I'm like, I could have just solved this problem right then and there. And then when we actually got together, that stuff started coming out. I think he secretly likes that. Who doesn't like an independent woman, really? Thank I you. I mean, at the end of the day, Judge that's what you know. Thank you. Yeah, he may never admit to it, but I think that's what he likes about it. You like it, right? Of course. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. Good answer. To get Good, answer. Good answer. Good <laughs> answer. All right, yeah. so you all get together, and so you, you start dating, right? Yeah. We started you... dating. You know, we started, you know, hanging out. The vibe was pretty strong. It started getting stronger, I should say. Um, oh, listen. Oh. <laughs> anyway. So, yeah, it started getting stronger. Um, and we started off as friends. You know, we you know, let everything grow bigger and everything. But now, she's becoming my enemy. Like, I'm here as a defendant, for God's sake. Like, and she's almost acting like this angry black woman who just never gets her way. No, he didn't. Wait, 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 did he he just call me an angry black woman, Your Honor? That's exactly what I just said. How how you gonna call me an angry black woman, but you making me the angry black woman? Okay, so what what has moved you to the point that you have a feeling, a belief, that he's cheating? Thank you, Your Honor. He's not doing the things that he used to do. All right, tell me about that. He used to do, it was the little things. He anticipated my needs. Oh, he talked man, to me gently. <laughs> Text messages were ongoing. They never stopped. By the time I finished sending a message, he had already sent another one. Mm. There were emojis, kissy faces, baby, I love you, I miss you. Another thing he used to do was when I couldn't get out of bed, like I, I worked late and I just be really tired and I might have to get up early or something. He used to like literally pick me up out of bed and carry me to wherever I needed to go, whether it was to the lounge, chair, the sofa, the bathroom. And now he doesn't my do those things. Hurting. <laughs> so, <laughs> slip my disc. <laughs> Mr. Rowe, that ain't a good answer. Thank you. Disc. That's not a good answer. He tried it. Mr. Rowe, mm-hmm. is what you're saying true that the things you used to do, you don't do anymore? To an extent. Oh. The thing is, is that I believe you still got to put forth effort in order for me to put forth more effort. This is not about me. This is about you. No, 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 no. no. Nope. You gotta give something to get some. No, no, no. He said I wasn't giving some. Let me me dispel this myth. Yes, Mm -hmm. please. For you and others, Mm -hmm. Mr. Keller loves a good pork chop. Yes. I can't get a pork chop. Okay, but here's the thing. He loves a good pork chop. (laughs) I'm so-so about pork chops. Right. When I fix pork chops, it's not about me. Mm Mm-hmm. It's not because he fixed me what I really like. Yes. It's because I want him happy. Yes. Right. And so when I do that, don't I make a good pork chop? You make a great pork chop, and you Come make on. a great point. But, <laughs> great I mean, chop. practically me speaking, though, if I'm not doing what I'm supposed to be doing, you're not going to feel like fixing me a pork chop. But here's and the thing. If and if that guy can get a pork chop, I'm not going to feel, like, not doing gonna feel like doing all those things that he used to do. Okay, you know, Mr. Cutler, but you and I both know there are times when I'm getting ready for trial, I'm doing things, 
and I'm not as on point. You don't stop doing for me because exactly. I'm that not Exactly. That don't mean go point. negative. Like, Whatever we just described should never go to cheating. What proof do you have that that's going on? Okay. None. I went through his pockets in doing laundry and I found a receipt that had a lot of alcohol on it, but at the very bottom, it also had a receipt for condoms on it. Oh. Whose condoms... Or right, on so, your receipt in so, your pocket. They need to start labeling condoms. Condom. Hold on, Ms. Mark. First hold on. Of all, hold on. When I was at the studio, my friend was there. He went to go get some liquor. I told him I'll go half on the liquor. And he came back. He told me how much I was supposed to put in. I'm like, how is that half? That sounds like whole to me. So I snatched the receipt. And when I snatched it, I looked down and there's condoms on there. And I'm like, look, bro, I'm not paying for I'm not paying for the condoms. Gave my half for the liquor, but then unconsciously stuck the receipt in my pocket. Didn't remember it was there. Definitely wouldn't have left a condom receipt in my pocket for her to find in the laundry as well. <laughs> if I was using condoms. But my thing is, it sounds like a good story, it, but it's, it, it's a little gamey. It's a little Thank gamey. Thank you. Everything sounds gamey. Have you ever found anything else to make you believe he's cheating? I picked him up from work, and we're in the car. He gets in smelling like a whole woman. And I'm like, you just got done working at a Mexican restaurant. <laughs> Why do you smell like a female? That wasn't me. What do you mean, smells no. like a female? If I were having the perfume that I have on right now were to hug the bailiff or to hug Judge Cutler, he's gonna smell this like... Miss, what Cutler. I... <laughs> <laughs> you know it. Like, he were to smell like what I have on. It doesn't take long because it's a strong... It was a strong perfume. I didn't smell like a woman. I just didn't smell like me, what she's used to. Uh, now... OK, what did you smell? One now, plus one wanna, equals two. I didn't want to smell like hold cigarette on, smoke. So, when I went outside, it was a guy that actually gave me the spray. I don't you know need to worry about my nerves. Hold on. I don't Hold know on, Ms. Mark. what Barth. it was. But it was some type of odor or whatever, and he sprayed it on me. And I doused myself in it. Do you always just spray yourself? With, I, my, with my spray, but I didn't have my spray. What kind of spray was this? I have no clue what, what, what the what? spray was. It, it was like a little... It was like, I don't know if it was like strawberry or what type it, of berry. Like an odor neutralizer? Yes, yeah. Your Honor. Dang. I don't know the name of it. I don't know why he it. can't get that out of his mouth. I don't know the name of it. I didn't take the bottle. He didn't ask for the name. He All said right, what so kind of spray it was. The bottom line, Ms. Morris, is you don't believe it was an odor neutralizer. Exactly. You believe it was some woman's perfume. Exactly. It didn't neutralize any other odor but my attraction to him. Wh why, do uh... why don't you believe it was an odor neutralizer? She got props. This uh, is what it's called, odor neutralizer. This is what smells like a neutralizer. What smells like something that diffuses the smell of smoke, which he claims he was doing. Well, you gotta talk to the guy. But wait, this the jacket. This is the jacket he was wearing. That was the jacket he was wearing that exactly. night. Exactly. This smells like a female. This smells like a car. This is what was in my car. Rob, would you please go grab the jacket and the neutralizer, or the... Could you, while you're in the aisle, away from the uh, litigants, could you spray that jacket just lightly? Okay. And bring that to me and let me smell it. Let me see what we got. A female. All right, so <laughs> this part smells like woman. Right. Whole woman. Whole just... woman. Not a half one, not a quarter one. Hmm. The neutralizer does not smell like perfume. Wow, you're right. Exactly. This wow. smells... Oh, oh, no, no, no. oh you... I... Exactly. I, there's some truth there. That's some real fruity neutralizer. Mr. Rowe, mm -hmm. the neutralizer smells like neutralizer. Right. She's saying you smell like a woman's perfume. Right. Who was the woman? That's what we want to know. Thank there you. was no woman. Then why were you me, coming it, home smelling like woman's perfume? It was me perfume? and the guy smoking outside of a restaurant, and he handed me something. What I said was odor neutralizer, but it was some type of berry something. I didn't know it was a spray called odor neutralizer, because I've never had odor neutralizer before. So I just said it was some berry something. This I didn't even look at it. story's not making sense, Your Honor. I don't believe it. It don't make sense. It, I don't like it. I don't like it. And you think, all, you think this is because he's cheating? Exactly. Ultimately, it boils down to you say you're not cheating. But if no, he I'm is, not. Your Honor, I'm out. I'm done. I don't want any part of it. They can have... The, all the females that be in the studio, they can have him. Whoever he's hugging up on at work, they can have well, him. I'll see you at I'm home. done. Man. I didn't sign up for that. To get to the bottom of these cheating allegations, the court has engaged the services of licensed private investigator Todd Redding. Ron, would you please escort Mr. Redding into the courtroom? Yes, John. How 
are you, Mr. Redding? I'm fine, Your Honor. How are you? Good, good. Mr. Redding, would you tell us about your investigation, please? Yes, Your Honor. I performed a covert surveillance on Mr. Rowe for several days. Oh, no! We followed him around from his place of residence to his place of employment, a restaurant, to his girlfriend's place of employment. We documented every move that he made. With every person that he came in contact with, we video documented his whereabouts. What was this? So you tracked his every move, knew where he was going, knew exactly what he was doing, time, place, and date. That's correct, Your Honor. Did you find anything interesting during this process? Well, Your Honor, after leaving Mr. Rowe's job, I tracked the subject uh, with an unknown female. I follow Mr. Rowe and the woman, who is clearly not Mr. Rowe's girlfriend, mm -hmm. uh, as they walked next to each other and through a parking lot. And then I trailed them as they casually made their way to a, a nearby local restaurant. Mm. Were you able to see them in the restaurant? Yes, Your Honor. In fact, my team and I video documented them as they were sitting at the bar. They were engaged in what seemed to be an innocent conversation. Innocent. I don't believe it. But then I noticed that the subject, he had touched his hand on the woman's back. You know, as you can see here, Mr. Mr. Rowe's hands is on her back for a short period of time. Which means nothing. Mr. Rowe, you're touching women on their back. Mm. <laughs> At a restaurant. At a restaurant. Looks you very know, chummy. Women other than your girlfriend, obviously. Right. Who is this woman, and what is your relationship with this she woman? She's a co-worker. It looks like the same restaurant we talk about, Your Honor. After work. That's all it was. But why did he smell You've like never slept thing? with this woman? No. No. You've not no, had any no. kind of sexual contact with this woman? Not at all. She's just a friend. Just a friend. Hmm. But like huh? I said, I, I mean... initially said if I see him hanging out with, talking to, touching, sleeping with any other woman outside of me, I'm done. But it, miss, it could be, it could be innocent. I mean, if you turn to someone and talk, I mean, that's almost like a natural move. No, uh To put your natural. hand on their back. Definitely natural. That's not More natural. Uh-uh. Thank uh, you. See? Are you hearing what I'm saying? We oh, can't, we I, can't I just did it. Losing. I wasn't paying attention. Judge Cutler, if you saw your husband, Judge Cutler, touching on <laughs> another woman without you, without him thinking you saw, how would you feel? Well... Okay. In that manner. She's talking about in that manner. In that manner. Uh, here's the thing. I recognize that it's re it would not be realistic for me to expect my husband never to talk to another woman, never to, ha you know, go have a drink with another woman. I trust him enough that if he chooses to do something like that, it's going to be appropriate. So, I, I mean, I understand, but I think it's not realistic, particularly if he's a bartender. I mean, that's a very sociable job that he's not going to not ever do anything, like talk to a woman or something like that. Well, like she she well, feels like I, I speak to these women the way that I talk to her. And I told her she's definitely a special case. I don't talk to but, women like I speak with her. It's not my fault if women like me but if, or if they're drawn to me. If he's going to do all if that... If they looking, you shouldn't want me. And he's going to be participating at his job. But Mr. Rowe, you're a smooth talker. I am. You're a smooth talker, you're a smooth guy, and you got the beard working. Right, I grew it. <laughs> so, like, I couldn't even get it without the beard. And so, you can understand why she believes that you're cheating. Exactly. Just because she's being insecure. Mm. Like, she, she, she went from love the beard to she fear in the so beard. insecure right now. Like, I feel like... Word, I feel like this is all pointless. I'm not cheating. Like, I mean, this is all in her head. I might as well be cheating it's a, if I'm getting accused like this. <laughs> Mr. Rowe, this is all Go in her ahead. head. Go ahead. This What's is all in her head. What's going with that girl right there? You said, I'm listening to judges. Can you repeat this that? This is all me? in her head. It's all. It's not. And Ms. Mars, you're not buying any of this. I'm not. All right. To further investigate this, the court had Mr. Rowe to undergo a polygraph examination, and we have those results. Ron, would you please escort Mr. Kendall Shaw into the courtroom? Yes, Your Honor. It's good to see you. Good to see you, Your Honor. You asked Mr. Rowe, since the start of your relationship, have you had sexual intercourse with any woman other than Ms. Morris? What was his response to that question? He said no. What did the lie detector determine? The lie detector determined that he was being truthful, Your Honor.
right, Miss Morris, what you got to say to this, Fine, this man with, with a beard <laughs> that caught your eye? If you're not cheating on me, like you say you are, like he says you are, if you could at least go back to doing the things that you used to do mm -hmm. to show me that you're really here and you're really committed, then I can follow behind you 100%. It's so important in a relationship. Every now and again, you have to step up yeah. and do something. Now, Mr. Cutler likes pecan rolls. Mm. Mm. But there's only one store in, in our town that sells them, and it's not near our home. But if I go past that place, Without I picking? stop and get one. It might be two months before he gets another one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but he, uh... <laughs> but when he gets it, what I hope is she was thinking about me. Yeah, it's a nice treat. It's a nice... The things that you did to get him are the things you need to do to keep him. I can't make it any simpler than that. All right. As we say in this court, don't cheat yourself out of a chance for a good relationship. Right. Court is adjourned. Thank you.